I want us uh, to do more uh, for uh, those who are struggling, and I want us to do more for our neighborhoods. Facing a $32 million budget hole, Cincinnati City Council only has nine days to pass this budget. And funding to human service groups is on the chopping block. But today, a group of council members proposed an idea on how to bring funding back to these organizations. The NOW's Brianna Malloy is at the Center for Addiction Treatment with what they had to say. Council members held a press conference here today to say they have a plan to raise $3.6 million for human services and neighborhoods. And for one man who attended today's meeting, this is an issue that hits especially close. What's up, babe? How you doing? Good yourself. How you doing, man? Today, Tim Johnson walks into the Center for Addiction Treatment as a peer mentor. But a year and a half ago, he walked through these doors for help. You know, it was from the lost, uh, you know, lost, hopeless soul to finding myself and who I am today. And that's why Johnson couldn't believe that City Council plans to cut 25 to 50 percent of its funding to human service organizations. Organizations like Cincinnati Works, which helps people in poverty find jobs, keep Cincinnati beautiful, which collected more than 900,000 pounds of litter last year, and CAT, the addiction treatment center that changed Johnson's life. The first initial gut reaction is, is what are they thinking? In response, Cincinnati City Council members proposed a plan to increase the city's admissions tax from 3% to 5%. I want us uh, to do more uh, for uh, those who are struggling and I want us to do more for our neighborhoods. This increase would raise $3.6 million for human services, neighborhood community councils, and the CDC Association of Cincinnati. Cincinnati is a city of compassion and this will begin our campaign of compassion. This means a $50 ticket for a Bengals game would go up to $51 and a $100 ticket would go up to $102. We reached out to the Bengals and FC Cincinnati for their perspective, but haven't heard back yet. The Reds said they have no comment at this time. But as for Tim Johnson, he says he's hopeful, knowing that there's another option to bring money in. I think it would be a good way for the for funding for very special and important needs that we have in the city. Brianna Malloy, the now Cincinnati. At least six members will need the, to approve the ordinance to put it on November's ballot. If voters approve this tax hike, funding would be made available after that. Thank you for joining us at 530. Cincinnati City Council has nine days only to pass a balanced budget and human services are on the chopping block. That's right, but today a group of council members say they have a solution to help these organizations out and stay funded. Nine on your side's Brianna Malloy reports on how they intend to do it. What's up, babe? Good yourself. How you doing, man? Human service organizations from around Cincinnati are represented here today. Organizations like Cincinnati Works, which helps people in poverty find jobs. Keep Cincinnati Beautiful, which collected more than 900,000 pounds of litter last year. And CAT, a treatment center that helps people fight opioid addiction. So all those organizations are, are phenomenal. They do wonderful things. They help people. And Tim Johnson knows the difference these services can make. Before he started working at CAT, he was treated here. You no, know, it was from the lost, uh, you know, lost, hopeless soul to finding myself and who I am today and, you know, having the ability to go out and help other people more than anything. But now City Council is faced with a tough decision. There's a surplus in good causes, but not enough money to go around. I don't envy the council having to make these decisions, I mean, especially the limited funds that they have. But these council members say they've found a solution. They want to raise $3.6 million by increasing Cincinnati's admission tax from 3% to 5%. This is a new source of revenues that allows us to make sure that human services get the support that they deserve, that neighborhood groups get the support that they deserve. If voters approve the tax increase, the price of a $50 Bengals ticket would go up to $51. The price of a $100 ticket would go up to $102. We reached out to the Bengals and FC Cincinnati, but haven't heard back yet. The Reds said they have no comment at this time. But as for Johnson, he says he feels encouraged knowing that everyone in this room could benefit. Not CAT, not the, not the free store food bank per se, but everyone as a whole. I guess that's probably the ultimate goal, right? And at least six council members will need to approve the ordinance, put it on November's ballot. If voters approve the tax hike, funding would be made available after that. In studio, Brianna Malloy, nine on your side.